Hi guys, Cindy here, and welcome to episode 58 of my Pleasant View Let's Play. Many of you might recognize this very familiar character. This is Kaylin Langerak. Kaylin is moving into Pleasant View. She has found herself a 42-year-old maid with very few prospects. She is desperate for a family of her own, and she decided it was time to move out of her tiny efficiency apartment in SimCity and move to Pleasant View and try and find some way to settle down. She's been having an affair with Daniel Pleasant uh, since she was very, very young, since she was basically a teenager. And uh, he has never committed to her. She also had an affair with Don Lothario, but the two of them broke up after she caught Don cheating. She is not a fan of Nina because she caught Nina with Don. And those are her only prospects. She's been chasing after Daniel and in love with Daniel for years and years and years. She is the, re she is the first woman that Mary Sue caught Daniel cheating on her with. And now she's reaching the end of her childbearing years. And as a family sim, Kaylin just can't tolerate that. She needs to have a baby. So she is moving to Pleasant View. She's going to try to lock Daniel down. And if that doesn't work for her, then she also has the, the option of adopting or maybe even meeting someone new. We're just going to see where life takes Kaylin. Right now, she is renting an apartment from Morgan Jacobs here in the Pleasant Vista Apartments. There was one remaining apartment in Pleasant View available here. It was this downstairs unit where Christy Stratton used to live. Christy Stratton has moved out and left the apartment vacant. Kaylin has rented it for, I think it was about $1,200 a week, which is going to be difficult for her to afford because she's also decided that she's going to take some of her dignity back and she is no longer going to be a maid for the rich people of Pleasant View. She is going to try to find some way to support herself that's not so degrading. She did rent this apartment unit fully furnished um, and she only has 400 simoleons left. That is all she had left over after she took her life savings and moved to Pleasant View. And, but she, it is pretty well furnished. She has a bed, a dresser. This is really weird, the way they furnish this. I don't like that. Um, this is the way that the apartment is furnished uh, whenever you place it. She has a little living area, bookshelf, little kitchen dining table, and a... A little basic kitchen. So nothing too fancy, but she's got everything she needs and we don't have to spend a lot of time furnishing it right now. Um, she wants to get a job is the first thing she wants to do. But before we do that, Kaylin desperately needs a makeover. She's not going to continue wearing her maid outfit around now that she's quit her job as a maid. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm actually going to take her inside. She's going to go check out her new apartment. Oh, don't write in your diary out in the front yard, Kaylin. She lives right next door to Benjamin Long. All right, get out of here, Morgan. You're being creepy. He's trying to follow her in. Okay, so she's inside her new apartment checking it out, and we are going to gussy her up and buy her some new clothes. Okay, here is Kaylin's new look. I gave her a really cute little black and gold summer dress with a necklace um, attached, and she's got some sandals, some some kind of heels. I don't know what those are called. But, um, and I gave her a little bit different makeup and I took off the little maid hat that she had on. And this is Kaylin now. She is a really, really pretty sim. I wanted to give her something like a style that was cute, still sexy, but not too provocative because she is a family sim. She's not a romance sim. So I think she would dress pretty conservatively. But still cute, and she does like the color black. So this really cute dress, I don't remember which stuff pack this came with, but this definitely is uh, included with the game. All right, guys, so Kaylin is ready to go. And now we can start working on her life and fulfilling her wants. She wants to get a job, so let's check her lifetime want. Oh, she wants to become an education minister. She wants to work with kids. And that is so absolutely perfect for Kaylin. So since she wants to get a job and her lifetime want is education minister, let's just double check and make sure that she actually has an interest in education. And this is something that I haven't been doing and I really want to start paying more attention to The Sims' actual interests. Her hobby is tinkering. Wow. And she's got quite a bit of enthusiasm in, in that hobby. And also we need 
need to look at her personality as well. She is an Aquarius. She's very neat, active, and nice. She's a little on the serious side, and she is very, very shy. And that could be one of the reasons why she's had such a hard time finding the man of her dreams, and she's just sort of pined after Daniel because he was familiar to her, and she didn't have to go out and try to meet anybody new. As far as her interests, um, she's interested in the paranormal, in sports, in work. She's not really interested in school at all. <laughs> not at all. But I kind of take this to mean that she's not interested in going to school for herself. Like, she had no interest in going to college or pursuing higher education. That doesn't mean she doesn't want to work with kids in a school. So we're going to go ahead and let her pursue the education career. Um, we'll have to wait until the newspaper comes to check it and then if there's not a job there she can go down to the unemployment office and find a job in the education career there. Her second objective today is to flirt. So she's going to call up Daniel Pleasant and invite him over right away so that she can flirt with him and see where things go. She's like surprise I just got an apartment in Pleasant View and I can just see Daniel going oh Great. <laughs> and he said, it's always a pleasure to see you. I'll be right over. While we're waiting on Daniel to show up, I wanted to check on Kaylin's. I wanted to check her inventory and see if she had anything. Nope, she's got nothing. And we also need to give her her aspiration benefits. Now, since she's a family sim, I'm going to give her all the way up the tree, except for super fertility, which I never give to any of my sims because I don't want a ton of twins. And then we also need to calculate her secondary aspiration. So I'm going to pull up the calculator and do that now. Here are the results of the secondary aspiration calculator. And it doesn't surprise me to find out that Kaylin is going to be a secondary knowledge sim. That makes a lot of sense. She's really shy and introverted and likes to stay in and just read and learn new things. So we're going to go ahead and give her that aspiration as a secondary. And then I'm just going to give her, do I want to give her social and fun or social and comfort? I think I'll do social and comfort, slower need decay. All right, here comes Daniel sauntering down the sidewalk. After she greets Daniel, we'll have her check the newspaper for a job. And then she can turn her attentions back to Daniel. Is he going to go get in the hot tub? I bet he is. All right, let's look for a job first. Full-time, athletic career, no. Education, how lucky is that? So there's an opening in the education career track as a playground monitor, level one. Uh, yes, she will take the job. Okay, so she's going to go to work tomorrow at 7 a.m. And let's check her schedule. Okay, she works Monday through Friday. That's really good. 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. Those are excellent hours. Oh, my goodness, she wants to get a cat. She wants to get a kitten. Um, which anytime our Sims roll the want to get a kitten or a puppy, they're going to have to settle for whatever is at the animal shelter. And that is very exciting because we haven't had any of our Sims adopt from the animal shelter yet. So I'm locking that in for her. But right now she's got to focus on Daniel and she's going to kiss him tenderly. Come here, Daniel. Where'd you go? I knew, I knew he was going to be soaking in the hot tub. He has, a hot, he has a hot tub at his house, so he can just get out of there now. Okay, finally, she was able to flirt with him, hold hands with him, and that's it. She doesn't have any more romantic wants towards him at all. Um, she wants to gain a skill point now and get a kitten. So I guess we'll just wait around for a few minutes and see if they do anything on their own. Um, they're holding hands now. I was really hoping she'd have more romantic wants towards him, but she doesn't. While we're waiting, we can go back and look at some of her memories. Fell in love with Dawn. Wow. Caught Dawn cheating. I remember when that happened. Had very first woohoo with Daniel. Did woohoo with Daniel. Made out with Daniel. <laughs> Kissed Daniel for the first time. <laughs> Well, Kaylin is just getting wasted out here. I mean, she's drank almost all of these drinks, almost like two trays of drinks by herself. I don't know if she's feeling nervous about this or what. And Daniel just keeps abandoning her to sit in the hot tub. I don't know. 
Um, I'm going to have her join him for just a few more minutes. And if nothing happens, we're just going to go on about her day um, of building skills and maybe going to adopt a kitten. It would be nice for her to have a companion animal since she lives alone. And she's lived alone for so long, you guys. She's already 42 years old. And... I mean, she's just had a very lonely life for a family sim, and all she wants in the world is a family. It's it's very sad. And she's got everything riding on Daniel, and Daniel just, you know, he can't commit. He can't commit to this. They've gotten out of the hot tub and started flirting again on their own. She's feeling attraction towards him. And he's kissing her lightly. I think it's strange that nobody else has come out here. I guess all of the other apartment residents are at work right now. So they have the place all to themselves. Another thing to consider is Daniel's age. Daniel is 67 years old. He is a lot older than her. Um, she doesn't seem to mind. She has always had a thing for older guys. When she was both with Daniel and with Don, she was a lot younger than them. And she's going to finish off the drinks there. <laughs> She's literally had like four or five drinks, and it's only 3.30 in the afternoon. <clears throat> and he's just admi admiring her. Once she finishes this drink, she's going to have to go in and use the bathroom and, and make something to eat. Maybe she'll make some dinner for both of them. Kaylin just served some very well-done grilled cheese sandwiches to Daniel for dinner. And after she finishes dinner, uh, we'll probably have her work on a skill. Let's see what she needs for... Her job. Okay, nothing. And she has maxed out cooking and cleaning. I'm really surprised that she did so poorly on the grilled cheese with her maxed out cooking, but hey. They can't all be winners, right? So she doesn't need any skills, it doesn't look like. Um, mechanical and charisma are the lowest, so I'll have her go work on her charisma skill. Let me see, is there even a mirror in here? Yeah. No, this is not a mirror. It's just a medicine cabinet, but not a mirror. Okay, she's going to have to spend some of her money on a mirror. Oh, and she is getting a phone call. I wonder who could be calling her. Also, it's 6 p.m., so another day has gone by. Or a single day, I guess not another day. And Caitlin is now 43. Time is just slipping away from her. It's Dawn. I knew it was going to be Dawn. She's still friends with him, and she's best friends with him, but she no longer has any romantic interest in him whatsoever. And he's inviting her to go downtown. Oh my gosh. Um, I don't know what to say. I guess she's gonna go. She's gonna go. She's gonna go and see what happens. So we need to get her dressed. The taxi is here, and Kaylin is leaving Daniel behind in her apartment to go downtown with Dawn. She is very confused about what she wants in life right now, but I guess Dawn charmed her and said, Come on, come downtown with me and let's talk. And he's going to try to... Oh my gosh, is Daniel coming with her? Okay, I had some kind of really weird glitch where Daniel and Kaylin both got in the taxi, but the taxi just sat there for hours and didn't leave. So I had to teleport Kaylin back here by shift clicking on the mailbox and clicking house, teleport here, and then I had to reset her. And once I did that, the game loaded downtown, but Kaylin and Daniel weren't there. So then I went back to Pleasant View, loaded the lot, and here they are. I have no idea what happened, but they are not going downtown with Dawn tonight. <laughs> That just didn't work out. It just, the universe just did not want Kaylin to go downtown with Dawn. And it looks like Daniel's headed home, too. It's getting kind of late. I think it's a little too late to go to the animal shelter and try to get a cat tonight. She's going to go in, work on her skill a little bit, and then probably go to bed. Tomorrow morning, she has to go to work. And after she gets home, depending on what she wants to do, if she wants to do any romantic things, of course we're going to jump on that because she doesn't have much time left to her. But if she doesn't, um, if she just still want, has these wants for skills and things, we'll go and adopt a cat. Well, it's time for Kaylin to go off to work, and I love it. You can see We can see all of our other Sims going off to work. There went Nina, and there goes uh, Kevin Burb. They're all going to work this morning, too. And Kaylin is headed to her first day as a playground monitor. Now, she has a lot of skills, and she has all the friends she needs, so it's very possible that she might get promoted on her very first day. Kaylin just got home from her first day, and of course, she was promoted. She has been promoted to Teacher's Aid Level 2. She brought home 253 and a bonus of 506 simoleons, which she really needed that money. She was down to like 300 simoleons, and her bills are due. 
but she's gonna pay those bills. She still just wants to reach charisma level four, adopt a kitten, and see a ghost and crap. She's getting a lot of knowledge wants and not a lot of family-related wants. Um, but there's not too much we can do about that. She's going to pay the bills. We're gonna go over to the Pleasant View Paws Rescue Center that we built in a live stream. That was super fun. And we also played uh, with Marsha Brunig over there in the animal shelter. We're gonna actually send our first sim over there to adopt a pet. Now she's not gonna be able to adopt a kitten because we don't have any kittens available, but she will be able to get a cat. It's not gonna fulfill the want, but it's as close as we're gonna get while keeping everything as realistic as we can. Kaylin is here at the rescue center. This place is a madhouse. If you guys attended the live stream where we played Marsha as the caretaker of the animals here, it is crazy in here. <laughs> and you might notice that Marsha and all of the animals are also selected. That's because I can't get the visitors, uh, the visit other sims mod to work for me. I'm gonna have to research that a little bit more, but right now I just wanted to get this done with. So I've teleported Kaylin over to the rescue center. She just bought a ticket uh, that's basically like giving her donation to the center and then she is going to go in and we're going to see which pet she chooses. Now she has rolled the want to get a kitten or a puppy. So either one, she doesn't care. She just wants a pet. She just wants a companion. We're going to press play and we're just going to let her go in and choose the animal that she wants to take home. Please don't be Abby. <laughs> oh my gosh. She's going to play with a bird, but she doesn't want to adopt a bird. She wants a puppy or a kitty. So we're going to wait for her to choose a dog or a cat. Marsha has opened, opened the business. I think we'll have her call in her employee too. Kaylin just wants to ask Marsha a few questions about the animals. Um, she's not ready to make a decision yet. And wow, Marsha did not take kindly to that. <laughs> she was like, I don't know what your problem is, lady. Just go pick out an animal. <laughs> Kaylin is very upset about how dirty it is in there. She went inside and then she came out here and started yelling at Marsha about how filthy it was in there. And Marsha's like, I'm so sorry. We're trying our best here. <laughs> we have eight dogs and cats. So I don't even know if Kaylin is even going to want to adopt anything from this place. She can't even stand to be in there because it just reeks like dog pee. Nobody wants to go in. <laughs> Oh, Kennedy Cox is being a real jerk, like he always is. They are pretty much enemies. And look, she doesn't like Marsha. She's very unhappy with the service here. She's very unhappy with the way Marsha is running the animal shelter. Oh my goodness. Let's see if we can just get her inside. Just get away from Marsha. Ivy came in and started to clean up. Uh, Caitlin just needs to give them a chance. Okay, now she's going to go complain to Ivy that <laughs> she's just, like, not happy. She hasn't shown any interest in any of the animals, just in complaining about their care. Yep, she's going to complain. Going to complain to Ivy. <laughs> Look at her. <laughs> Yeah, and Ivy's like, oh my god, I'm so sorry. I don't know what to tell you. I'm trying my best here. Kaylin is getting mad. And then this guy, Kennedy Cox, he is so mean to everybody. Hey, this is not going well. <laughs> it's not going well at all. All right, I'm going to make Ivy controllable and make her go inside and clean up this puddle. And maybe that will help. <gasps> okay, a dog is approaching Kaylin. Cleo is approaching Ka Kaylin. Oh no, Kaylin didn't like her. Okay, well, Cleo is not the one. We're going to keep trying. Well, Kaylin has decided to play with Teddy, the hamster. <laughs> That's the animal that she chose. She is kissing him and loving him. So I'm going to let her take home the little uh, hamster here. She hasn't shown any interest in any of the dogs or cats. Even though she wanted to get a kitten or a puppy or get a kitten, she chose the rodent. <laughs> so that's what she's going to get. The wom rat. I called it a hamster, but it's a wom rat. She wants the wom rat. 
Look at her, she's so happy. <laughs> she's so very happy. So I just put Teddy in her inventory and then I'm gonna make her unselectable and ask her to leave. That's how I'm gonna handle this. Um, you're not able to sell the uh, Walm rats. I tried to make it available for sale and I couldn't. So Marsha is going to ask her to leave. And then we'll ha next time we play Marsha, we'll have to get another Walm rat for the rescue center um, because Kaylin took Teddy home with her. I'm very surprised, very surprised that she went for the Walm rat and not like a cat or something, but that's what she chose. <laughs> Kaylin made it back home and she brought Teddy with her. Now, first of all, let's make sure that he has food. Okay, his food bowl is full. And I'm going to unlock that because we're not going to be able to fulfill these wants because there are no kittens and puppies um, in the shelter right now. They're all adult animals, so she couldn't have adopted any. So the only thing she can do right now is gain a skill point. She's getting very tired, but it's only 344 in the afternoon. Let's see what would be the easiest skill point for her to get. Okay, she needs cleaning and charisma. I think she'll work on her charisma skill for a while. She was interrupted in the middle of pra practicing her speech uh, because the phone rang. Let's see who's calling. It is Dawn calling her again. Wow, Dawn is relentless. I think it's just because Daniel has her love and Dawn is jealous and he doesn't want Daniel to have anybody that, you know, wouldn't have him. So he keeps calling her. Uh, he asked her out downtown, but that didn't work out. She didn't make it in time. And now he's just calling to chat with her. She has no interest in him whatsoever. And her turn-ons, let's look at her turn-ons. She likes black hair and unemployed. Wow, okay. Another day has passed for Kaylin. She is now 44 years old. If she wants a family, she's going to really have to move fast. It's about 4.30 in the morning. Kaylin just woke up and started to play with Teddy, her new best friend. Isn't this the saddest thing you've ever seen in your life? A 44-year-old single spinster who wants nothing more but a family of her own, living all alone in this sparsely furnished apartment with a Walm rat as a friend. It's just sad. <laughs> it's just so sad. She didn't roll any good wants this morning either. The only thing she wants to do is talk about hobby, and I think we can be really liberal with that and invite Daniel over so she can talk to him about her hobby. <laughs> Now, she does have to go to work this morning at 7 a.m., and it's a little too early to call him, so I think we'll wait until she gets home from work, call him up, invite him over, and see if we can talk to him. Kaylin just got home from work, and I was thinking she was going to get promoted. She wants to bring Samantha Otimus home from work. No, no, that's not okay. <laughs> No, you cannot. But she did get promoted. Um, she brought home 362 simoleons and a bonus of 724. She's starting to actually accumulate a little bit of money here. She's got 2,000 simoleons. Her rent's not due for quite a while. And now we are going to call up Daniel. She loves reading the paper. She brings the paper in and reads it every day. I think she reads the mechanical section. And so once she finishes that, we're going to invite Daniel over. And I just, I didn't even look at what she got promoted to. She's actually a substitute teacher now. She, every time she, she calls somebody on the phone, she like screams at him. She's like, get over here. Get over here right now. She's frustrated. All right, Daniel's here. She's going to go and greet him. She was just tidying up the apartment a little bit before he got here. Throwing away all of her old newspapers. Oh my god, here comes Sandy Broody. <laughs> There's old fish lips in her uh, extremely provocative dress. <laughs> Kaylin looked at her like, what are you doing? She hates it when he tries to bow at her, but he continues to do that. Okay, so let's fulfill these wants. Let's have her talk about her hobby and get that out of her system. She is going to talk about tinkering, because that's her one true hobby. 
She's just waxing poetic about tinkering and mechanical, and he, he likes it. But now all she wants to do is be friends with Samantha, get a kitten or puppy, and gain a skill point. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, oh my. Okay. Well, <laughs> I should have known ACR would come to the rescue. She is going to go in and woohoo with Daniel. She invited him over for a little bit of a booty call. She's tired of waiting around, so. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, they're just doing a casual woohoo. Now, I would not be surprised if Kaylin sort of told Daniel that she was being careful when she really wasn't because she super wants to get pregnant. <laughs> So I would not be surprised if something like that happened. If she made Risky Woohoo just a little bit riskier, if you know what I mean. Oh, they're holding hands. It's so cute. They have the best little animations in The Sims 2. I love it. Okay, well that's done and over with. And she hasn't rolled any more once. Um for romance or anything like that. Somebody's calling her and I bet you anything it's Dawn. It is totally Dawn. I know Dawn's calling and like, is Daniel over there? What are you doing with Daniel? <laughs> I feel like Dawn is trying to get back in Kaylin's good graces. I think he just cannot stand it that Daniel is going over there and seeing Kaylin and she hasn't invited him over once. It's Friday afternoon. Kaylin just got home from work and she went to take a bath. She rolled the want to talk about hobby and that's as close as we've gotten to having her want any kind of human interaction. She's going to call up Daniel again, get him over here and talk to him about her hobby. She just wants, she just continues to roll wants for skills. I really kind of wish I wouldn't have given her the knowledge secondary aspiration until after we had established some relationships or maybe gotten her pregnant or something because she's rolling no wants to do that as much as I want her to. I do allow my sims to choose their own life. Oh my gosh, she's thinking about adoption. Did you guys see that? She was thinking about adoption. She is 46 years old now. And adoption might be her only choice if something doesn't happen soon. Can my friend come over too? No, Daniel, you cannot bring your friend. I guarantee he would have brought Dawn over here. <laughs> That would have been a little bit awkward. Daniel just showed up and Kaylin's going outside to greet him. She is thinking about babies, but she still hasn't rolled any wants for them. And she did not get pregnant from the rendezvous with Daniel earlier in the week. Uh, right now, she's going to talk to him about her hobby. And let's see if we can roll a better one. He's still bowing at her. Oh, wow. And Nina just came up. Now, Nina also has had an affair with Daniel. So this could get a little bit weird. And Nina stinks. Oh, my gosh, Nina. I think they need to go inside. Oh, finally, it's happened. She wants to classic dance with Daniel. And they're both like, oh, my God, Nina, you reek. <laughs> She's just all stinky over here. She's like, don't mind me. I'm just looking at birds. <laughs> okay, so... I'm going to forget about that. I'm going to do whatever it takes to get these romantic interactions going. She wants to classic dance. They are going to classic dance. She's going to spend some of her money to buy a stereo. Just a cheap one she can put over here. And she's going to go in, turn the music on. We're going to put it on something nice and not on salsa. Not on the salsa channel. All right, let's change to um, R&B. Oh, she was very excited about that new purchase. Okay, let's call Daniel over. Daniel, get stop looking at birds with Nina and get in here. Okay, now she is going to classic dance with him. He's like, me? Yes, sure, I'd love to. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Nope, we're getting nowhere. Now she just wants to be friends with Samantha. 
Oh my gosh. She's hopeless. Well, I'll let them dance for a little while and then Kaylin will cook some dinner. Maybe that'll make them in a more romantic mood. I don't know. Kaylin made Goopy Carbonara for dinner and they are eating together. They've been having a really good night. But she, her wants are just terrible. Oh, and there's a dirty, nasty, stinky plate on the floor. Oh, okay. Daniel's leaving. He's like, bye. I'm out of here. I ate your goopy carbonara. I danced with you, and now I'm out. Well, another day. Another day has passed. And Kaylin is now 47 years old. She's a 47-year-old substitute teacher with a Walmart. Well, it's Saturday morning. Kaylin is once again thinking about adoption. That is the second time I've seen her. Third time, she's thinking about it like super seriously. The older she gets, the more she's starting to realize that her chances of having a biological child are slipping away from her. Now, she wants to talk about hobby again. She doesn't have to work today. It's the perfect time for her to call up Daniel, get him back over here, and talk to him about her hobby. It's like she wants to have a baby. But she's not doing anything to make that happen. Oh my god, look at her dance. It's so terrible. That is the worst dancing I've ever seen. <laughs> oh my god, Galen. She's just rolling her arms together. Okay, Daniel's here. She's freshening up. And then she's going to come greet him. All right, so she let him in, and now she's going to talk to him about her hobby. Um, talk about something else. Talk about music and dance or something. And they're getting a little romantic on their own. That's good news. Come on, roll something good. Yes! She wants to classic dance and play. Okay, let's play first. Give him a tickle. That's the most romantic play playing you can do okay she wants to appreciate him okay now we're getting somewhere give him a back rub okay and she wants to entertain him okay she's rolling once now actually that actually have to do with daniel i'm gonna tell her to tell him a dirty joke let's try to get let's try to get him in the mood here <laughs> Yes, you. Tell him a dirty joke. She's like, I don't even know how to tell a dirty joke. Why are you making me do this? <laughs> Chamba Wamba. Okay, she wants to tickle him again, so let's have them classic dance, because at least that's considered a romantic interaction. I know that's Dawn calling. I know that is Dawn calling. I cannot believe him. And now I'm going to have to have them stop just so she can go answer the phone. Oh, yes, yes, she wants to make out with him. Okay, go answer the phone because I just, I have to know. I have to know if this is Dawn. Go answer the phone. I knew it! He calls every single time Daniel is here. <laughs> He's so jealous. He is so jealous of this. And she wants nothing to do with him. And he's calling over there like, is Daniel over there? I know Daniel's over there. What are you guys doing? All right, you gotta hang up. You don't have time for Dawn's crap. She does not have time for you, Dawn. She, Daniel's over here shaking his booty. She's about to get some of that. All right, she wants to make out, so let's do that. Yes, she wants to woohoo with him. Okay, guys, this is the moment of truth. She wants to woohoo with him. Let's go relax. Yeah, I know you're hosting a weekend apartment gathering. We don't care about that. And everybody in the, in the apartment building can see right into her bedroom. <laughs> they can see what's about to go down in here. <laughs> okay, let's ask him to join. Ask Daniel to join. He's looking at the art on the walls. Come on, Daniel. You know what you're here for. Do your duty. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, so they're going to go through the risky woohoo, or through the casual woohoo menu so that they do have a chance of risky woohoo. It didn't work last time, but we'll cross our fingers for this time. All right. And now she wanted nothing else. She got what she wanted. <laughs> she wanted nothing else from him. <gasps> oh my God. So Kaylin just gained another mechanical skill and rolled the want to get married. I cannot believe it. She wants to get married. I'm going to have her ask Daniel if he will marry her. I don't know what he's going to say. I know Daniel does not want to get married. I'm sure he probably fears getting married. But Kaylin wants to get married very badly. <laughs> she's realizing how much older she's getting. And seriously, she almost has no time left to pull together some kind of family for herself. So she is going to ask him. She's going to just propose to him right here in the living room with the R&B music playing. We're going to put the walls up so we can get a nice, nice view of this. She's going to be like, you know what, Daniel? We've been seeing each other for like 30 years, okay? Literally, they've been seeing each other for 30 years since she was 18, since she was probably 17. And she's like, you have to commit to me right now. And I think if he says no, if he says no to her, she's done with him. She's done with him. She wants to get married. She is giving him an ultimatum right now. Either you marry me or I'm finding somebody who will. So I am really interested to see what he's going to say. Oh boy. I love you, Daniel. I've loved you since I was a girl. Now I want you to marry me, make me your wife, and oh my freaking god, you guys, he said yes! I cannot believe he said yes! He did! They are gonna get married! I just cannot even believe it! I am shocked that he said yes to her, but I am so happy that he did, because she is gonna be able to get a family. She is gonna be able to have a family now. That doesn't mean he is gonna be good and faithful to her, but she is going to get the husband and child that she has wanted for so many years. So she's got to get ready for the wedding. You got to go, Daniel. <laughs> she's going to say goodbye to him. And she's going to go to bed so she can get all of her beauty sleep. And they're going to have the wedding tomorrow on Sunday. It's perfect. But first, I would like to give a shout out to one of my patrons, Annika. Annika, thank you so much for your support. It really means the world to me. Um, with your support, I'm able to continue making content like this. So thank you so much for your support, Annika. You are awesome. And if anybody watching would like to become a patron, you can visit me at patreon.com slash pleasant sims for more information. For as little as $3 a month, you get access to our private Discord server, invitations to our patron-only live streams, and you can become a character in my Build-A-City Challenge hood or even have a baby named after you. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit that notification bell if you want to know when I upload new videos. You can also visit my blog at PleasantSims.com if you're interested in any of the mods I use or where I get my custom content or my gameplay rules or anything like that. You can also follow me on social media. I am on Twitter, I'm on Instagram, and I am on Pinterest. I hope you guys will join me for the next episode where we will be having Kaylin and Daniel's wedding. Thanks for watching.